I believe for the public would take too perfect. I know he's good. I, I won't take that away. Maybe too much perfect. Michael Schumacher will dominate the television. Will dominate. Initially, his speed completely destroyed my head. One dreads to think how rich this man will become by the time he leaves Formula One. The story of the last few seasons has been um, me and Michael fighting to win the World Championship. So inevitably, um, we're, at, we're at war on and off the track. It's difficult for anybody driving next to Michael because he's, he's quick. You know, and uh, when you're somebody so quick, I believe everybody has the same difficulty next to Sam. He's very, very hard. He is an achiever, he's ambitious, he's enormously aggressive, and he is there to win. Now, he started from third on the grid, the conditions were adverse, he was down to fifth place at one time, but Schumacher clawed his way back, and he comes upon John Alesi at the chicane, which is a place you wouldn't ever dream of anybody passing someone. It was tight, they actually did have slight contact. But if you physically went out on the circuit and looked how narrow that part of the track is, it's virtually impossible for one car to get through there cleanly, let alone two. And with almost unprecedented daring, he just dived in, and all of a sudden, Alessi sees this Benetton alongside him, and had no option but to give way. Alessi Schumacher, Coulthard third, Barrichello fourth, Hill is out, Irvine is fifth, Herbert is sixth, but, and uh, Schumacher has a look. Now, can he get through on the inside? Alessi resists him, he's coming up to a left-hand bend, so he's got the inside line. What a, what a struggle. This is lap 65, two laps to go at the end of this one, and Schumacher... Yes! Michael Schumacher takes the lead in the Grand Prix of Europe and the Benetton team go berserk with delight. I think the commitment he showed there and uh, the absolute belief that he would make it round and come out in first place was uh, quite amazing. I think Estra was a very interesting uh, example of Michael's thinking as a racing driver because we, we, we weren't uh, as strong as Williams at Estra, but it was critical we finished and tried to beat Hill. So um, the overtaking manoeuvre Michael um, performed on Hill towards the end of the race, if you watch the previous two or three laps, he was practicing that manoeuvre and he was moving across to the side of the track that he had to use to perform that manoeuvre to clean the track and get used to the performance that comes through that part of the track, so he's cleaning it and making sure he could perform the manoeuvre. He never really seeked advice as such. He loves to talk about things and see what people think about it. And then he reflects on it and he sort of makes up his mind then, you know. He's not seeking advice as such, you know. He wants to know a few things sometimes, but um, that's not conclusive for him. Then he has to brood on it and think about it and then uh, he comes up with his own conclusions. Schumacher is unnatural when it comes to appearing on television. I don't know if he's had much coaching or not, but he actually is quite comfortable on TV and he's very effective. I think in having English as a second language has served him well because he speaks very simply. He also has very gentle tones and quite nice gestures, so he's a winning personality on TV. So, jetzt kann ich. Ja. Thema Vize-Weltmeisterschaft hat Michael Schumacher das abgeschrieben. He's extremely warm, he's extremely friendly, he's extremely cheerful, he's totally on top. So everything's going well. When I first 
saw he was going to be a great driver was in Suzuka 91, when he'd been a big star in the Jordan already, and he'd been driving the Benetton and going extremely well. And finally, he had the inevitable big shunt at 130R, very fast left-hand corner at uh, what is a very fast circuit at Suzuka in Japan. And he backed it into the wall, gearbox first, and quite a lot of damage. And I thought, ah, OK, now we're going to see. You know, he's had his first shake-up. He's just, as we all have done, realised that Formula 1 cars are that bit faster, are that bit heavier, and you're going to you know, have very big accidents. And um, I watched quite closely after that. And a little while later, he was out in the T-car. And his very first flying lap in the T-car was quicker than any lap he'd done so far that weekend, even uh, before he shunted. So that, that was quite clear. He had the confidence to overcome a big accident and just get back straight back on the pace again. And at that point, I realised how special he was going to be.